Jessica. I wanted to show you how to turn a document into a JPEG. It's really, it's a little bit tricky to do, and I use this feature a lot to post uh, photos to Facebook, and um, also to put these um, photos on websites. And it's something that really takes a couple steps to do. And I just wanted to show you how to do it here. I'm going to, I'm going to use a picture um, that I made of a book that I'm having copyrighted right now. Let's see if I can find it here. I'll show you how to do oh, this one, but this one's already done. <clears throat> okay, here's one that's in a Word doc. Now, there's a trick to this too because from the Word doc, you really have to make sure your letters are big enough on your page here. Take a picture. Um, I don't have that many sentences on this page. It's like one, two, three, four, maybe five or six. So I've got them in um, Arial 72. Um, 22 would work as well. The problem is the lower the number you go, um, the tinier the words will be if you're using words, and you won't be able to see them in the picture. So 22 is actually a good starting point. And um, I don't have that many on this page, so that's why I went with 72. That's what looked, that's what looked well and fit, um, except for down here at 48. I'm just using this one because it's a Easiest one I can work with to show you here. Um, unless I just create one, from, I can create one from scratch here. Um, what I did is I went to um, Microsoft Office Word, clicked on it, and I'm opening a new page here. And we can use Libri or Arial. I interchange the both of them. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to 20. Oh, no, that's too big than 22. Yeah. 48. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how this works here. Let's type in some <clears throat> random words here. Um, I'm going to also make the page a different color because I like to do that. Um, actually, that was a good color. <laughs> Where were we? <clears throat> um, okay, we're going to do that. We're going to go ahead and hit save. Let's see how this works. Save as a PDF. Might be going too fast here. I'll do it again. What we're going to do here, put a bunch of words on the page, which you may not have words. You could actually take pictures 
and paste pictures on here too. You're going to come up here to the top, and click on this, go to Save As, and first you have to turn the document into a PDF. You're going to click on PDF. I just keep it standard. You'll see the PDF setting here. You're going to click Publish. This will turn it into a PDF. What you want to do then is we're going to make this small enough so that we can see everything that's on the page. You'll see that there's a little bit of gray under it and above it, which is what you're looking for. So this is at 42%. Then we're going to go up to Edit and take a picture of it. I'll take a snapshot. Click on that. And just take your little cursor here. And I, I just always put it in the middle. And um, left click it. And it just took a photo. Go into your, um, your start menu here. Click on paint. And then um, click Control V. And it'll, br it'll bring it right into Paint. Click Save. This is where you can save it as a JPEG. You've turned your Word document into a photo. The reason why I use this so much is because you cannot upload documents to Facebook. You can only upload photos. So this is why you would want to learn how to use this feature. Um, if you're advertising something, or you're creating a quote or, or something like that, um, You can only upload photos and videos to Facebook. You cannot upload documents. And that's, <clears throat> this is why you would want to learn how to do this. Log into Facebook here. I'm also going to open up Pixlr because I want to make it a good size to put on the, the Facebook wall. I hope I'm not going too fast. Pixlr.com, it's P I X L R.com. It's free. You don't have to um, go through the trouble of setting up an account with them, or you could do that. Click Open Image. Um, my desktop. Hmm. I don't know if that's the right one. Let's see. It is the right one. Good. Okay. Image. Image size. Almost, it's almost the right size. I'm going to adjust it a little bit here. Uncheck the box. The pixel size is 404 by 404. If that's too hard to remember, you can just use 400. Just resize it. Save. I'm going to put pix into the word so that I know I've um, sized it for Facebook. I come in here and add a photo. It's going to look really funny because I don't know what I wrote on here, but I do know it doesn't make any sense. 
And there you go. Here's your Word doc. It doesn't even look like a Word doc. You just turned it into a JPEG, which is the format you need to use to post a photo to Facebook. And that's it for this one.